Alexi, you'll, uh, you'll ride the newcomer on uh, Wednesday night by the name of Joy in Joy in race number three for, for trainer Dennis Yip. Um, you've tried him a couple of times. What's been your overall assessment of those trials? He seems to be a nice horse. I like his trial so far. He's been doing pretty well. Uh, quite professional and mature. I believe he's ready to run a good race. He trialled at Happy Valley, um, probably showed one or two little signs of, of greenness. Um, do you feel he's, he's come on because he's, he's obviously won that trial at Shouting since? Yes, uh, he, he showed some great speed in Happy Valley, but he was also a bit green. So, um, so he needed that trial in, in Chatin to, to improve his maturity and, and, uh, and gain toughness, and he, he surely did, did well. So I'm very happy to ride him, and very, it's very interesting to see how is he is going to react. Given that speed he did show Alexi in his trials, I mean, he's drawn gate one, so I guess a great place to be for a debut. Uh, yes, unless he missed the start, but he seems to be pretty. Uh, it seems to be doing well. He's uh, he's been he's been nice and uh, and very professional. So um, I won't be surprised if he runs a good race on debut. Uh, from a rider's point of view, Alexi, how, how sort of difficult can an introduction at Happy Valley be? Do you think for a, a young horse or an unraced horse? Well, it's all about the the quality and the preparation. I would say they have uh, before the race. So. Um, this one seems to be quite mature and he showed abilities, so I think he's going to be a, naturally a racehorse, hopefully. You and Dennis Yip teaming up again. There was a nice winner on the weekend with, with Phoenix Light. That was a, a power-packed finish. Um, you certainly didn't want to give that one up. That was, a, that was a big win from him. Yeah, that was a great win. Um, well, I, I always believed the horse had, uh, was able to win a Class 3, so I'm, I'm happy that he, he delivered on that occasion with me. And uh, yeah, we certainly had a good gate pretty good race on the inside and uh, I was able to finish uh, late on the inside and and get the job done so uh, that was a great feeling. Pierre you're a man who's got his team going very well hardly swears I thought it was quite an interesting run out on Wednesday night's card in race five um, he's been racing really well this horse. Yes he's been very consistent um, just a little bit unlucky with the draw this time and last time so uh, hopefully he can uh, handle the draw and uh, get a better position and uh, which we, he will um, finish off his race um, every time. So I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, he did so last time. I mean, I thought Harry gave him a, a super ride and he was doing all that, all his best work late. Yes, um, last time we just uh, lost by a length and he picked up a lot in straight. So um, hopefully he can do that again. He wears a tongue tie for the second time, Pierre. Now, you've had him, I think, for three runs now. Um, have you noticed an improvement with the addition of the tongue tie? Uh, definitely, there's a little bit little bit of improvement. Um, his balance uh, wasn't that great before and um, so we just try to get him more steady in his run, uh, in his sprint. Um, so I I'm quite happy with that. I guess as an eight-year-old you're just trying to help him as much as he can I suppose in those, those latter years? Yes, definitely. Um, we just try to get uh, one or two winners hopefully for the owners and uh, he can have a retirement. Yeah, he's been very consistent, obviously a two-time course in this since winner. Um, I wanted to ask you about the form of your horses. Um, seven winners from your last 28 runners, that's 25% the strike rate. I mean, things just continue to go really well. Yes, um, the horse is um, getting fitter and fitter, and uh, hopefully um, we'll get more from that. Um, and just on sort of what's been so far, what would be your overall assessment of of the performance of, uh, of your stable and your horse. I mean, they seem to be very consistent, Pierre. Yes, um, I think that's what we're trying to aim for yeah. um, from the f first day. And they really did it from the first start and until the fourth or fifth start, they're still doing it. So I hope they continue to do it till the 10th start. Luca Tullabagil um, putting a really nice performance at a price last time out. Um, certainly looked to handle himself well around the valley. Yeah, he's very good. Um, you know, he got a long way back and uh, and ran it off quite well. You meet excellent peers again. Now you were giving him eight pound last time. You only give him three pounds this time around. I imagine you'd be looking forward to having another crack at him, weren't you? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, he, he's drawn a bit better um, tomorrow night, and um, hopefully he can he can race a bit closer to him. And like you say, he's um, um, a little bit of a weight weight swing. So um, yeah, I think um, he, um, he he should give him a shake. An interesting sort of part of that race, Luke, um, and I'd like your opinion on it, of course, is at the 300, you almost got sort of intimidated wide, uh, and then obviously the winners got first run on you. Do you think that probably was the difference maybe between winning and losing, or at least getting that bit closer? Uh, I, yeah, for, for sure, you know, I just had to, had to wait and come around rather than sort of, rather than pick our way through, and um, the winner had a lovely run, um, and, and um, 
but we were, we were closing late. So uh, yeah, I think um, I think with a bit better luck and um, and like you say, the turnaround in weight, he'll um, be very hard to beat. He's trialled since as well. What did you make of that trial? Trialled nice. Uh, yeah, it was just a tune up for um, uh, for the for this week. But um, yeah, he trialled nice. Nothing too um, uh, too hard. But um, yeah, he, he gave me a good feel. This is only his sixth run in Hong Kong. Did you feel now he's sort of getting the hang of things? This horse. Yeah, well, he's still. Um, he was he he took he's taken a little bit um, from from reports from the stable to just uh, just calm down and, and get himself in, into the right headspace and uh, he seemed to be quite good the other night and hopefully improves a little bit off that but um, uh, yeah he um, he's not far away. Ruin the Irishman is a horse that you uh, you won on last time out. Won a, a nice race as well at Shantin. We'll, we'll touch on that in due course. But he comes to Happy Valley on Wednesday night. Um, he's clearly a very smart horse, isn't he? Yeah, he's, he's a very smart horse, no, Nick, and I'm very happy to keep his ride. And uh, this time, his first time in Happy Valley Track, but I believe he, after his, he win the last time, he get more confident and uh, he can come in to the, this time. It's more in form and uh, very confident. Um, just talking of Happy Valley Ruin, obviously, he's, he's not that big. He's, he's weighing in at 10.54 pounds. Do you think he's the type of horse that can handle the valley? I believe that because his action is a beautiful action, a big, long, straight, and he can travel nicely. He always like ride quiet and make him finish, and I believe he can handle the track very well. The race he won last time was obviously you know, of decent quality. It was a class two at Sha Tin, and they're never that easy to win. Um, the form's working out well because Beluga ran third. He's won a class one since, so I guess on form, he, he's possibly the horse to beat, isn't he? Yeah, yes. He's Sammy, I, I told you he's a very nice horse. Ours, he ran the strong race, and I could won with him last time, so I believe he, he start to improve more, you know? After the winner, get confident, he can show more his ability. He's got eight pounds more to carry, Ruin. Um, do you think now he's got to a point where, you know, the eight pounds isn't going to be too much of a burden for him? Of course, a bit more pound is a bit more difficult, but I believe he's very big horse, his big body, so not too, not too bad for him. How has he galloped since, Ruin? You, you've had a chance to sit on him a few times? Yeah, I galloped him last Monday. He galloped very well, nice feeling, strong, and uh, I felt he's great form. He's got an entry for HKIR now. That's probably a little bit beyond him at this stage, but do you think if he comes through Wednesday and perhaps continues to progress that Connections might look at a race like that? I believe that because he only second star, this is Wednesday the third star, so he's just get improved, improved all the time, so I'm sure he can. Jerry, amazing one plus. Uh, was a horse that you managed to get the win on last time. I, I imagine that was quite a f fulfilling win. Yeah, he's a quite difficult horse to, to get a winner. He broke his maiden um, finally, and he's a funny horse. He, he can't hit the front too early, and but uh, he got a shot of spin and need to get the right time to, to get going. Uh, but just on the win last time out, now it was sort of noticeable that you, you made that move at the 600. Was, was that sort of paramount to the plan going into the race? To sort of, you know... not, um, not really, because um, uh, we, we know him, he's not, um, he, he can't stay too long in front and, and that way is, um, my horse in front move out and the pace starts to slow down and, and, and my horse, he, he feeling well and want to uh, keep going and I just let him rolling, but we, with that under pressure and I just let him uh, run up a uh, free wide in front and in the shake, I need to keep holding him a little bit un until the last 150. Yeah, I mean, it was evident that it was, it was obviously, you know, it looked like a, a, co a confident sort of ride. Um, Interesting. I wanted to ask you, do you enjoy riding horses that way? Because I, I went back through and I think a, a season ago, or maybe even two seasons ago, you won on Rainbow Light and it, it almost was a similar type of ride. You sort of, you're not wanting to let them go too soon. Yes, I, I really enjoy riding this kind of horse because he, uh, he's traveling well and, and he, I just hold him in together and he just uh, tried to um, join the other horse and it's made me feel confident. And, but this kind of horse is a bit difficult because um, if hit too early and maybe some horses pass or if too late, um, get in trouble. <laughs> um, you've obviously ridden him on a few occasions, eight times in fact, and obviously the handicap is going to put him up six pounds for this run. 
do you feel that now he's the type of horse that has got his head in front, he, he might just be able to, to keep going in the right direction? Um, I think so. Uh, I think the, the waiting is, is still good for him. He, he know, uh, he's not worried about the, the weight yeah. too much and because he's not a small horse yeah. and, and I think still still got competitive this race. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's been placed, I noticed, of 78 and 80, rated 8 to 74 here. Um, just for yourself, Jerry, obviously it was a little bit of a slow start to the season, but things have, have picked up quite nicely um, in recent meetings. Are you, you pleased with the way things are ticking over? Yeah, a bit happy at, at this moment and everything start um, getting better. Got more um, young horse coming up and, and um, hopefully can, they can get some good results and I can bring some winner together.